So when I quit BDO a few years ago, I blew up all my gear. And this was my gear when I returned. I had a pride tree spirit, pride bags. I blew up all my accessories and uh, I still had uh, a tri dandy, so I turned it to Tet. Uh, I still have my Zaka, et cetera, et cetera. This was my gear on February 8th, 2019. And I'm gonna show you what I did to get it better than, than that. <laughs> the first thing I had to do, I knew I had to do, was get to level 61. So I grinded at Gahaz. Gahaz is actually really, really good EXP. I think it's very underrated because of the Marnie stones and just me being an archer, how fast I was able to kill the mobs really made it easy for me to hit 61. And hitting 61, of course, granted me the Kaposha ring right here, which was uh, very, very good for my progression a free tri crescent definitely recommend that you go and push that ring if you're trying to uh, get your gear score up it's a very free tri accessory that cannot be destroyed in the process of me leveling to 61 on my archer i was able to get quite a bit of money from gahaz not a lot but more than i thought i would with all the kafros and scrolls i was able to sell a lot of stuff and make a lot of money but it wasn't enough money to fund my uh, growth in the way that i wanted it to be i still needed a little bit more income if you understand what i'm saying so i had to make some uh strange decisions <laughs> that we'll go over later in this video but uh, first off, I just want to explain why I chose Archer, why I chose to run with Archer. I really, 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 really like this class. I mean, I just like everything about the class. I love the fact that it's just a really high risk, high reward kind of class. He does amazing amounts of damage, especially once you get to later AP levels, but he also takes a lot of damage and he's so squishy to the point where DP is sort of a meme. I've never seen a really uh, tanky archer, uh, even to this day, uh, except for one, and he had like 340 DP. Uh, but uh, until I'm able to get my DP up to that point, it's really no point in me pushing DP. So right now what I'm just focusing on is purely AP. So I'm thinking to myself, what can I do? Like, what can I do to get my AP up as fast as possible? Even if that means making some sacrifices to the gear I currently have. And so I made the decision to sell my Dim Tree Spirit chest. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hero, why would you sell that? That's the best in slot chest. What else are you gonna wear? Are you stupid? Well, keep in mind, uh, the only difference between a tree chest and a red nose chest is 200 HP. 200 HP is really good, don't get me wrong. Uh, and tree chest is definitely the best chest in the game, obviously. But uh, 200 HP isn't worth uh, 1 billion silver to me right now. It's just not worth it to me. Uh, it made a lot more sense for me to go ahead and sell that tree and buy a red nose. I enhanced the red nose up myself to try and uh, sell the tree and get a nice amount of silver. Uh, with that silver, I was able to go ahead and uh, sell my Seraph's necklace and go ahead and buy myself a, uh, a Tri Ogre Ring, which was, in retrospect, not the best idea. I really thought that Tri Ogres are gonna go up in price, but instead they, they went down quite a bit uh, because of the uh, accessory events. But keep in mind, I didn't know the accessory event was a thing or was coming at this time, or maybe I would have made a different decision. Regardless, uh, it still worked out uh, better for me, which I will go over in the next part of this video or this video series, I should say. But for right now, we're just going to focus on what I did uh, during the month of February. So I got the two, well over two billion, as you can see here, sold my stuff, went ahead and bought myself a tri -Ogre ring. Um, like I said, in retrospect, wasn't the best idea, but it did give me enough AP to uh, get into tree groups, which is what I really was focusing on at the time, because tree groups are really good for both EXP and money at the same time. So I really wanted that. And uh, this was my gear once I got that done, which is pretty good. Uh, so now I knew I had to go ahead and go for Tet weapons. And, uh, and uh, then uh, I should be good to go as far as grinding goes. Uh, but for now, this is some. This is a pretty good gear. You know, I got the tri ergons, I got the tri boss gear, completely, uh, mostly tri weapons, uh, tap dandy. No, I'm not. I'm not doing too bad. I managed to get a tri basilisk belt and a tr and uh, and obviously I just bought the tri ogre. So I'm, I wasn't doing too bad uh, as far as my progression goes. And I was kind of getting to that point where things are going to get a lot harder. I did want to go ahead and see if I can grab myself a tri witch since I knew they were going pretty cheap at the time. Um, 
So I did want to get myself a tri witch, but I was a little short. But I knew I, you know, I'd get one eventually. Um, but yeah, this was my gear at the time. Uh, about a, about a, I'd say two weeks after I came back. And it's really not, it really was not that hard to get this gear, to be honest. I was actually very surprised. I don't know. Maybe I got really, really lucky, uh, you know, and I also got this accessory, this uh, quest accessory from Valencia. I definitely recommend you guys do this quest if you don't have it already. It's an amazing ring. Great backup for if you're going for TED accessories or if you haven't had, had a chance to get to try Crescent yet. It's a great, great, great accessory. And it allowed me to go ahead and sell my Trimark as well that I had bought. But a Trimark is a good uh accessory to buy as well they're very cheap uh on the market right now because mark's only like one mil so they're very very cheap so after i got done with uh getting that gear i did try to go ahead and do the bartali quest so i get that free ap boost once again i definitely recommend you guys go ahead and do the bartali quest uh, at least up to the point where you get plus one ap uh, they're going to add more chapters in the future, which obviously you're going to want to do to get more AP. But this is just what I did to get that one AP. I had to go kill Quint, stupid ass. And uh, it was really nice to get that free one AP to help me get a little bit more AP so I could grind a little bit faster. I'm always trying to, I was always focusing on trying to get to the next bracket. And I believe that's what you guys should be focusing on as well. And Black Desert Online, AP is equal equivalent to progression obviously for some of the late later in places you're gonna need some dp but uh dp isn't gonna make you progress as fast or as effectively as ap will so i definitely focused a lot on getting my ap as fast as possible which allowed me essentially to snowball my character into uh progression progressing faster by going to a uh, higher end spots and um, when it came to Tet armor and Tet weapons, I did get relatively lucky. I never really had much issue getting uh, my uh, my uh, gear to Tet. As you can see here, I'm gonna get this Tet uh, Nuver pretty easily. So I, I will say I was pretty lucky when it comes to Tets. Um, but uh, that's just something that happens. You know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, you know, but Tets have never really been much of an issue for me. I will be honest. I've really not had much problems with Tets. There's only one piece of gear that's given me issue this whole time, and it's the fucking red nose chest that I bought. <laughs> so that's that's kind of fucked up, but I really had a hard time getting that to Tet. I still have to, to this day have not gotten it to Tet. Also, during the uh, tri event accessory weekend shit, I really didn't get very lucky. Uh, throughout the entire event like I didn't get a single try except for the ogre ring So that's what I said to myself at the beginning I said as long as I get the try ogre I don't care about anything else and I did get the try ogre for free of the event So I was very happy with that so I didn't complain too much about the event But for those of you who didn't get a single try accessory yeah, I feel for you man I felt like that was gonna be me, but it wasn't so I'm very happy that I got the ogre uh, it, it allowed me to do something that was just amazing and once again, I'll go over that in the next part of this series. And here I'll sell even more DP for, for AP. Uh, I did manage to go ahead and get a Tet Heave on a relatively low stack, which allowed me to go ahead and sell that for some quick silver. I think I made about uh, 600 million silver. It's pretty good uh, just for a green piece. And I was able to go ahead and uh, buy myself uh, some more AP with that. And then I wanted to go for Tet Kudum and uh tet zaka i thought the kudum would fail and then i go ahead with the stacks from the failed kudum and go for zaka because i really wanted to get a tet zaka but the kudum went so that was pretty cool i've one tapped like two weapons now so i mean i'm, I'm pretty happy with that you know i'm pretty content with that <laughs> not gonna complain and no i didn't do any pay to win here i clear clearly i did completely you know just straight up no no pay to win stuff at all just straight memory frags and buying stuff off the market you know none of that pay to win bs around here you know this is a no pay to win zone so the last tet that i really wanted was the tet zaka uh so uh, for fortunately i had a stack prepared just for it uh went ahead and go went for the enchant here you know the magic number uh and uh, it didn't work that's okay i switched to my alt one tapped it back to try went for tet again and it uh worked so yeah we got a tet zaka on a two tap which i've always had problems with tet zaka so i was actually very surprised about that and the last thing that i knew i needed to get was a tri crescent 
I went ahead and went for a 50 stack on it, which is a pretty reasonable stack. I just wanted to really make sure I got it. Uh, you know, RNG, if you really show the RNG that you want it, then the RNG will let you have it. So uh, as you can see here, I just wait until the perfect moment, the perfect moment. I had to give it just enough time to fester for the stack to salivate and marinate and, and deep in some black spirit soy sauce. Uh, I knew when the time would be right. I just simply click the button and first I'd have to do the enchant animation and then I'll do a quick thing known as the animation cancel. Uh, I'll let it run again and do another animation and then let it run again. Uh, obviously waiting for the perfect moment to go ahead and animation cancel the final enchant which I would do now for the easy try, easy try crescent. So that's it for this video guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and part two will be up momentarily. And by momentarily, I mean in a very long time. Peace.